think the mic didn't the first pick question it up. is that yes. um, reading through his uh, doctor's profile, I see he was born York, Mr. York, but he's now Dr. Indum. So I will want to understand the transition. And secondly, uh, I want to know uh, the benefit of your serving at the Ministry of Energy to the Ghanaians, to the people of Ghana. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, let, me, let me correct something. I was born, not born Mr. York. <laughs> let me explain the peculiar thing some of us fanties we have. That you are given one name, complete name. And then you are given another, a complete name. So if you see Papa Kwesi Indom, it's my name, given by my father. And then Joseph Hoopster York Jr., also given by, by my father. <laughs> now, just look at me. I, I found myself in the United States of America. And I'm walking around, and these people, they're looking at me, and they're calling me Joe York. <laughs> and I look left and right. And sometimes I say, well, who are they talking about? <laughs> I don't look like any Joe York. <laughs> so I kindly called my father and said, if you, if you wouldn't mind, I want to use the other name you gave me. And he said, go ahead. So that's how come <laughs> we went from that one to this one. Um, as far as energy is concerned, you know, I, I believe, um, as I have said before, I went to meet at the Ministry of Energy some good plans, good plans prepared by the NDC administration. It was added on by the MPP administration, and there are still the good plans set in there. What was important for some of us who went there were to attempt to implement elements of the plan. And so in my tenure, what I found very important to do was almost to become an activist, someone who always trying to, if you will, bring some organized confusion to the system so that people will move and get things done. Because people take a look at the things, they'll put it there, they'll look around, they'll dance around it, they'll go back and forth, and then it will still say where, where it is. And so I am proud that when it came, for example, to the question of the Osajifu power barge, constructed by the NDC administration, brought to Ghana by the NPP administration, but then where people were quarreling over whether it should go to Tema or it should go to Ifasu Manjia, I stood my ground and said it must go to Ifasu Manjia because we are expecting that someday there will be oil and gas. And it was not a, it was not a, a pretty fight, but it went there. So when I walk around today, I'm proud that I stood my grounds and said it must go there against whatever else that was there. Number two, there was the West Africa gas pipeline project. Also, and you will find when I say things uh, without malice, I'm not just saying the truth to you, that many things, the two administrations, you know, same plans. West Africa gas pipeline started under the NDC administration continued under the MPP administration. And it fell on me, as a chairman of the Council of Ministers at that time, to push the project along. So we traveled to Washington, to Nigeria, looking for money so that the project could get started. So under my watch, it got started. And under my watch, we started the construction. It's up to someone else to make sure that the gas shows up. And in the matter of, of the oil and gas, um, you know, sometimes you sit there as a minister, you must make your own decision.